What are you talking about? I don't know. What's up, people? JB with the drummer, Charlie Guntier, the guitarist extraordinaire. Today we are talking about um, a song and an artist that is um, very... Uh, he's like one of the goats, I would say, of okay. rap music right now and okay. a legend. Okay. Um, one of my favourite artists. Um, I literally listen to his music on repeat every day, at least once a day. Okay. Um, Money Trees is one of my favourite songs, if anyone knows Kendrick Lamar's music. But he's recently dropped a song called The Heart Part 5. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, very controversial video, obviously, visually. Mm-hmm. Sonically, mm-hmm. also very um, in-depth. But I couldn't help but think, I feel like he's fooling us. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm, and I'm not buying it. You know, You know, a lot of people, when they see like videos so basically if you haven't seen the video the video is basically obviously he's rapping and then he's morphing into different people's faces like oj simpson Mm. um uh kanye west will smith to name a few and then he has a part in the song also where he he talks from the perspective of um nipsey hustle who's passed away um which is a bit creepy Mm. to me (laughs) Mm. i felt a bit weird Mm. but um that's basically the video but i couldn't help just feel like uh, it's just gimmicky. Nah, I ain't feeling the track. I ain't feeling this. He's trying to fool us. It's like, no, no, where's the, where's the heat, bro? You've been gone since 20, um, 2017. Mm, like, mm. I came back to hip-hop for you. Right. I, right, right. I ain't been with this little stuff. Little better, silly, good, ooty, ooty, ooty. I've been gone. I left. As soon as, as soon as I saw all this coloured hair, little kids running around, mm, I mm. packed my bags and I said, I need to find a new genre. That's when I discovered new metal. I was like, okay, now this stuff, the old stuff was, oh, this was hard, mm, you mm, know? Mm, but um, yeah, I can't just help, I can't help but feel like Kendrick Lamar is fooling us a little bit with, not fooling us, but it's a bit gimmicky. It's like, yep, we're going to put in the most controversial niggas in the world in this video. Mm, mm. And then I'm going to speak from the perspective of, a dead person that I felt like let that man let him rest. Don't don't capitalize off of his death. Oh, you say that now, is it? Oh, you say that now. Yeah, you you're looking at me. Yeah, you know you you you're looking at me because now you have to now re, re recollect recollect what you said about like uh huh about what what oh so it's okay. It's it's okay for them to capitalize capitalize off of Michael Jackson now, yeah. Long gone past. Let's just do an album and let's call it whatever it, escape or whatever we call listen. it. And let's have all these artists listen, play listen, on the, on listen, tracks listen, that listen. He, he did in the toilet That's a one fallacy. time and he wanted to throw it away. And you, cool, you cool. was his promoter. Cool. Wait, wait, wait. You That's was a... his promoter, That's mate. A... That's a... You bro, was. wait, wait, wait. You <laughs> was. Bro, Who was? bro. You was. Wait, wait, you wait. You were saying that is one of his best albums, Bedrin. But I now, didn't say it was one of his best well, albums. What did you say, though? I you said I liked it. You a heavy defender, bro. I liked it. I said I liked it. You a heavy defender. No, no, I liked it. Fake Michael Jackson. Okay. Fake Michael cool. Jackson lover. Can we get back to this, bro? Can we okay, get back to this? Anyway, um, that's another conversation. But this particularly is, um, I just feel like coming from Kendrick, like I just feel like that's a little bit um, cheap for him. He doesn't need to do gimmicks. Like save that for someone else. I thought the game would do something like that. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like talk from the perspective of Nipsey and like, use his likeness and all that it was a bit too it was a bit eerie for me it's like ah i didn't feel comfortable with that and it felt gimmicky you know it didn't feel right and and i felt like kendrick you you know better than that man i mean a lot of people love it Mm -hmm. uh, but again we're not sheep we think for ourselves Mm -hmm. it's not group thought like you can have your own opinion do you i'm saying probably gonna get berated for this but it's like you gotta have your own freaking opinion and i just didn't like the fact that it felt gimmicky sonically it felt like to pimp a butterfly okay then you feel that a bit like that whole jazzy not jazzy but just it had a you know heavily music musician or um influenced like you. it's not it's not um like digital program music mm. you know what i'm saying like mm. fl studio it's not, it's not anything like that it's like real live instrumentation still mm-hmm. um which was very synonymous with his to Bimper Up Butterfly album. Mm-hmm. But um, I just didn't like the gimmick. I didn't like the gimmick. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. wish he could do better than that, mm. you know? Mm. But a lot of people are going to be impressed. And what m- people are talking about is the video. Oh, my gosh, did you see how they deep faked his face into Will Smith and Kanye West and blah, blah, blah. 
Yeah, you know what? Uh, to be honest, like I, you know, I, 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 I kind of liked it when he was just doing. He, he was just his there thing, and he was just there, and he's doing yeah, all these yeah. quirky movements yeah. and everything like that. I kind of liked that better Morph. than when he he was morphing because, like, um, like I kind of said to somebody, um, today even when we were talking about it that like. What he was saying went like t- kind of just morphed into the background, like well, I was, I was, yeah, I was, yeah, I was, yeah. <laughs> as soon as his face changed, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. oh wait, isn't is that is that OJ Simpson? Yeah. Oh, okay, is that yeah. is that Will Smith? Yeah. Then I stopped listening to what he was saying. Everything yeah. went, and then he's now somebody else. So, um. Yeah, it's a great video though. Oh, let's not. Let's. It's what, a great. Is it a great video? I mean, uh, do you know what? Do you know what? You thank, you, you thank, you, thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know video. what? In a different respect, when I mean when I mean great video, I mean in the in the fact that in the in the world that we are in now, mm. it's all about headlines, clickbait. We need eyeballs on this video. Right now, the deep fake technology isn't like super super. It's not. It hasn't been on the level where everyone knows about deep fakes yet. Mm. But with this video, I believe it's going to be pushed out to more and more people. Some people might not have been like, how the hell did they do that? Mm. You know, you, mm. I'm I'm very much, I'm heavily into VFX and um, I follow a channel called Corridor Digital. Go follow them. They're amazing. Um, and they basically do these sort of breakdowns. And they've, I've been onto the whole deep fake technology for a, for a little while. Mm. So it wasn't surprising to me that they um, did it, but it, he did it. But it was more like, oh, that's how you're using it sort of thing. Mm, you're using mm, it to do that. Mm. Okay. To bring back the dead. Okay. I hear it. They did it with, um. they tried to do something similar with Tupac, you mm. know, at Coachella. They okay. brought the hologram stuff and they tried to bring him back there. I get it. I get it. But again, I just it just felt gimmicky. It just felt like, nah, this possibly couldn't be what you've been writing for the last four years when you've been away. Like, mm. but but again, when people go away and they hype up the album that's coming, that's been in the, works for seven years or four years five years it never delivers mm, mm, it never does mm, mm, I, I don't think it's ever delivered because it's it's impossible mm, mm, you, people waiting too long but i but hopefully the album should be um good but if this is any preview of what it's like mm. oh oh really Oof. oh for real Oof. okay all right Cause all his right. bars as you said the beginning bars mm. that what he was talking about at the beginning mm was just typical Kendrick stuff, you know, poverty, um, the usual, mm. growing up on the bread line, uh, my brother know, just got shot, home, friend yeah, got shot, the, homie got shot. I the mean, hood, the hood, like growing up in the hood, I get it. But I did I did like the, um, it seemed like at the end he was talking from a perspective of somebody that has passed on. And then that's Nipsey Hustle, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. That's all, okay, all right. It, cool, it was cool, nice cool. for me personally. Mm. My personal individual uh, opinion is mm. that it felt it was airy to me. I didn't. I don't know if I, it registered with me because it's like I don't think you should be talking for a dead man. Mm. He might think he might not. <laughs> someone blew my brains out. Yeah, mm. I might. Although he's talking out of a love because he was saying, "Oh, don't worry. Like I know." He wasn't saying don't worry, but he was saying that my time was up, blah, blah, blah. It sounded very nice. Mm. That might not be the message me as a dead man would want to give to him. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. I might not want him to sleep easy. Do you mm. get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, mm. you're putting these nice words in my mouth. Don't talk for me. Right, right. I'm right. dead. Don't yeah. talk for me. Mm. Don't tell, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Oh, but I feel like that's what he would say. No, when someone dies, right. if you, you don't if, know what they were if you were to bring him no back long, alive, you no no longer know what that person said. You had you know like, you could know. you could bring mm. him back. He could be in the afterlife right now, saying, "Oh, Kendrick, oh no, Kendrick, <laughs> Kendrick. Oh, <wow>. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But it's nice that it was it was a, it was it was it was. Guy never left me alone, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he talking for me, man? <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah. um, yeah, it's it's a touchy one, but yeah, it was it was a, it was a, it was an interesting touch, um, interesting touch, uh, yeah. You guys, let us know what you think about the video, your individual thought, because that's what I want. That's the agenda I want to push. I want people to be 
individual. I want people to think for themselves. I want people to not be afraid to say their opinions. As crazy as it sounds, we're in a day and age now where it's like you stand out and it's like you're getting shot. Mm. It's like you stand out of the line. Bow. Bow. You know that game when they say pull and then Mm. anyone that gets out of line, pull. Blow. (laughs) They're shooting you down. Cancelled. Blow. But on this channel, say what you want. If you think we're totally stupid for our opinions say what you like man this is an open space man you guys be open yo i don't know about that one there i'm i i, I charles I, is sensitive I, I but it's cool. my say what i like by saying don't say what you like just be be wise about it you know what i mean like be, yeah be wise about it but, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. yeah thank you guys for watching hopefully we see you next one Poosh. peace